Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel. So I thought it would be fun to talk about a couple things in today's video. Not only am I gonna be sharing with you some of my newer favorite releases, but I'll also be doing a mini pulse review. But since I did tease this a little bit in Instagram stories, I briefly did a review there. I got a lot of messages from you gals wanting a review. I thought for sure this was gonna be a hit or miss, and it still might be because of this color block look. What do you guys think off the bat? Like, do you like color block or is it kind of like a standoffish thing? I guess this really made a statement because the amount of DMs I got asking about it, I was like, okay, this has to make a feature. So here we are talking some current Gymshark favorites, some new pulse that's launching along with the new camo. By the time this video goes up, I do believe that the camo and pulse will be already launched. So keep that in mind. I will have the times right here, Thursday, February 24th. Gymshark did change up their times. Did you notice that? So make sure you check out these new times so you're not missing out. Definitely hit that subscribe button. We have a ton of videos just like this. We talk Gymshark, a bunch of social media, activewear brands, all the latest trends. So do not miss out. Hit that subscribe button and I hope you won't regret it. So a major thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. These favorites I'm about to show you are staple pieces that I literally wear almost every single day, if not every other day, a few times during the week. I'll say that. <laughs> I know that these rest day sweats should have been in a video a long time ago. I'm well aware of that. I never actually knew what video to put them in, but now they're making an appearance because they're genuinely one of my favorites. This is a matching jogger set, the rest day sweats that Gymshark came out with, I don't even know, a month or two ago, probably two months ago. This is their light gray. I also have that really nice, pretty light tan color. They also have a staple black as well. It has a moral breakup, but what I love about these sweats is the fact that first of all, they are oversized and you can totally size down. I did not size down, so this is my true size small. As you can see, it's pretty baggy. I'm gonna say that again. You can size down if you don't like them this oversized. But to be honest with you, not only do I love the neutrals they came out with, but I love a nice matching jogger set. I feel put together even when I'm trying to keep it ultra comfortable. It's not plush or anything inside. It's got a really heavy duty, rugged cotton feel at first. At first, I was actually really upset when I got it in. I was like, there's no plush. I soon came to love that there's no plush because now I can like sweat a little bit and not be sticking to the plush. You could also wear it as a warm up. Like these joggers would be great for a warm up. You could wear the hoodie solo with a pair of jeans. So I just think, I think they need more of this going on. If you didn't think the camo leggings were gonna make an appearance, are we even friends? All right, let me tell you something. In case you haven't noticed, which I'm sure we all know this by now, Gymshark changes up their leggings a lot. Some of my favorite leggings, like the Vital, the Ombre, the Adapt Marvel, the Apex, <laughs> that's another one. All of my staple Gymshark leggings that I really love, they've been changing over time. Some for the better, some for the worse, some things I might like, some things I don't like as much. But the one legging, the one legging that has not let me down so far during my Gymshark journey, you're looking at them, all right? I know that these have evolved and changed with their material, their print, everything. It has changed over time, but for me, in a way that I actually really like. I think the Savannah print, Savannah, what the hell? I think the Savannah print is beautiful because here's a secret, and you probably know this already. I don't like camo that much. Sorry. I'm not, I've never been a huge camo fan. Like that print doesn't do anything for me. I'm not gonna go into details of why I like the leggings because I think you guys already know. I just did a video comparing these to the new Vital that just rolled out. So check that out if you haven't already. But I just, I love it, man. I, I've been wearing these burgundy since I got it. Almost every day at the gym, dude. I can't stop loving it. <laughs> this green color, it's kind of growing on me, but I'm still like, I prefer this color when it's mix and match. These are my favorite legging, hands down, but I will come out and say this, we need a new scrunch. We we need, it's officially too far up above my crack in the back. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because I've been really extra good at hiking up my leggings. <clears throat> you just want to get that suction up there. And um, yeah, it's like right here. I have a low butt crack, I'll be the first to admit, which is why I need a scrunch butt, thank you very much. But it's just a little too high for 
at me. My booty crack doesn't even see it. It's almost on my lower back, my low, low back. So if they could just like maybe move it around a little bit, shift it around. Bottom line, I wouldn't be mad if they experimented with new scrunches, but the camo has been and still remains my ride or die legging love you. The Energy Seamless Bra has quickly become one of my favorite bras that Gymshark has to offer nowadays. They've evolved this bra so well in my opinion. Back in the day this wouldn't have made it to my top list, but because they made it in such a way where now you have the thick straps, non-adjustable mind you, I'm starting to like gravitate away from straps that have the plastic pieces because I start to notice when I'm pressing up against machines or doing hip thrusts on a bench, the plastic pieces are denting up my back. I'm getting bruised up and it's concerning. But I do think that this is my everyday bra now. The fact that they came out with really nice colors like the nude, that coconut white, and this tan. I mean, look at this. Even with the camo, it's working. I think the eyelets on this bra really just give it such a beautiful look. Different from your traditional solid bra, it takes a very simple racer back and just adds a little texture, a little bit of pizzazz in your set. So this, is, this has been a, a gem for me. This is the type of bra that I can wear all day and not be uncomfortable. Whereas the straps, like thin straps, over time throughout the day, starts to dig in and makes me super itchy. So comfort wise, the energy, we need more of it. I'm gonna close with one of my favorite pieces, and that is none other than the KK Fit cropped hoodie. I don't really think Gymshark's come out with anything quite like this before. I mean, maybe they have, and I'm just drawing a blank, but I feel like I would remember. This is just too good, and I know, I know these are sold out. I'm hoping they restock. Better yet, I'm hoping they actually come out with this style, just like this, cropped, full zip, and cinched right around here, like this elastic band. Hugs my curves, it's just the right length. You still have a hood in case you wanna go incognito. You warm up in it, nice too. You got that cotton lining where it's rugged, no plushness at all. And it's just it's just perfect to trap a little bit of heat and then when you're done, you could just go, oh. I would really love to see Gymshark if you're watching this. Could you please make more of this in every other color? Maybe add it into like the training range or something like that but make sure you add in this elastic cinch, okay? Boy, if I don't look and feel like a creamsicle in this outfit. White and orange, this shade of orange, creamsicle. But just in time for spring and summer. Summer, this is more of a summer piece right here. They came out with a pulse color block. Like I said, I wasn't sure if this was gonna be a major hit or miss. Kinda like what the flex. It's a little out there and you gotta love that statement. I actually really like color block done like this. I think the two different colors on the sports bra is super unique. The one thing I'm not totally sold on is the blue, random blue, random blue Gymshark logo. And you got this blue drawstring. If you look closely, it's blue. Where'd the blue come from? <laughs> I could do without that. Like this shark face, I want, I would have liked to see it white. <laughs> or even a tonal logo, like blend it right in with this orange. There's even more blue on the back. Like this whole stringy thing, I do really think that the thick straps, like this is an overall super comfortable sports bra. You guys are gonna love or hate the drawstring right in the middle of the toddies. So if you need a little more room, uncinch it, you'll feel that room in between your girls here. But when you cinch it in, this is how I like to wear it, super cinched in, you can feel a little more support and grab around each. I would still stick to your true size. I'm wearing my true size. I wouldn't size up or down in the sports bra. I think the band is very comfortable, nice and stretchy here. I think the back is really cool too. You got that keyhole. These shorts are pretty cool too, but you know what I mean? Like you gotta like making some noise. It's not as bad as like the last launch with the long jogger ones. Cause then, then you really make, you're shaking things up with that. You don't hear it as much with the shorts cause there's less material rubbing against each other. I do really love the fit of these shorts though because these liners underneath are so comfortable, so stretchy. There's no pinching in on my quads. It's very comfortable. You have a nice lining over top. It's that water repellent, you know, like a windbreaker. I got my handy dandy water squirter. Let's see if this actually repels. <sighs> I 
It's cold. This, this was like a waterfall down my leg, all right? I don't think anything went through to the lining, but we're about to find out. Dry as the Sahara Desert. We are good. Yeah, so it's safe to say this liner on top, keep that water right off of you. Bay is taking a video picture, okay. <laughs> it's definitely the kind of thing you wanna wear. It's definitely the kind of short you wanna wear on a hot, humid day, rain. Maybe if you live in Florida, I know it gets rain there a lot. So they do have one pocket right on the left side, all the way up. Let's see if it fits my phone. And it does. So you can fit your cell phone, go for a walk, walk your dog, whatever you gotta do here. While we're on the topic of the windbreaker material, let's pair it. No stretch in this, it's a windbreaker. This ain't stretchy, it is what it is. We have a midi crop half zip pullover here. No hood, it's just a pullover, very light windbreaker. The only color block I'm seeing these two patches right here on the arms. Extremely thin to the point where you can see full through this. So you have to wear something underneath. You still come equipped with a pocket right here on the sleeve. Just the one on this side. The cell phone's gonna go in the shorts. And then this is gonna hold uh, your gum or chapstick, your car keys, or maybe a small snack, maybe? Something like that. Now that I'm looking at myself in the camera, I almost feel like I'm wearing a prisoner jumpsuit. Do you see that? <laughs> Okay, now now you can't unsee it. You're welcome. And let's not forget, last but not least, this feature that I'm gonna use the most, the cinch. Oh yes, that feels good to cinch it right in. Just like that, man. Now you made yourself a cute crop or just a little more fitted look so it's not so baggy around the midsection. So whereas the windbreaker was a half zip, we now have a quarter zip pullover. This is not the same material, this is not windbreaker. This is the type of material, this is polyester. Ooh, this is very soft. This is very wicking, and you can feel like this is something you're meant to work out in or just be active in, which I would not suggest with the windbreaker. Oh, there's thumb holes, thank you. Let me just unzip this. Oh, so this white color is just asking to get dingy, and my makeup's on it. So if you're somebody who wants a little more of a subtle look, there's no contour color block whatsoever with this pullover. So look into this blue. I don't mind it as much on here because you've just got white and blue going on. Maybe pair it with a nice navy legging. Oh. You also have the Gymshark long form text on the back here. So this is more of a matchy look. A little bagginess here, a little bagginess. I have short arms, so that's probably why. I think you could totally size down, especially because it's so stretchy. I think you could get away with that, especially if you do like to have a little more form pitted here, not so much room. You could size down. There are a ton of seamed breakups, but again, it's all tonal, so it all just flows really nicely. I'm not seeing or feeling any pockets on this one. I also wanna make note that they are coming out with leggings and a few other pulse pieces. Unfortunately, I do not have them. I just shared with you today the pieces that I have. All right, guys, so those were my current Gymshark favorites and mini pulse review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Out of my favorites, like, are they any of your favorites too? <laughs> Comment down below, what are some of your favorites that you've been loving lately? Definitely do not forget to subscribe and let me know if you have any questions about anything that I shared with you in today's video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.